Hello there. Um, this is the second fish, Port Orange Tigers, that I was going to do a how-to on. It's the parrot fish. Um, the parrot fish is found all over Florida coral reefs, um, all around. And if you've ever seen them, they're one of the most beautiful colored fish uh, that you can see down on the reefs. And they have those cool-looking uh, mouths that actually do look like a beak. That's why they're called a parrot fish. So. Um, I'm using a smaller paper and when you start your fish uh, you want to put your eyeball on the left side of your fish and remember to save room for his body and tail. So the parrot fish, his eye is a little closer to the top of his head so maybe go about four or five fingers in from your paper and then maybe about halfway down and we're going to start by drawing a parrotfish eye. It's just a tiny little circle and then you could do another circle around it. Their eyes kind of stick out of their body when they're fishing so to make it look a little bit 3D you can do a curve right above the eye to make it look like it stands out. So if this is our parrotfish's eye it is near the top of the head so one thing I like to do is maybe go a finger above his eyeball and put a little line and then think of how it naturally if his uh, head was going to go down to here you want to start his mouth somewhat over here so if you want you can maybe go two inches two fingers from the paper here and put a little vertical line and then now we're just going to connect them with a nice curve so there's the top of my parrotfish and the fun part about a parrotfish is his funny mouth so you definitely want to make his mouth open so what I would do is do a diagonal line down and then you could curve it back and a diagonal line out a little bit um, out to where the fish's face is now to do the rest of his body um, I'm just going to curve my mouth back here so now you can see we have our parrotfish head. Uh, next I want to do a gradual curve down and save some room for my tail. So I'm going to curve my line down and then over here I'm going to curve my line up remembering to leave about two fingers width here so you can draw your tail like this. So this is where our tail is going to be. So let's go back and just do that funny part of our parrotfish's mouth. This part where it's going to actually look like a little teeth, like a beak. So for your parrotfish tail, it has um, these two curves that go out. Um, a little different than the mahi we just did before. So I want to curve out, out, and then your line goes straight back from both of these. And then you just have a, a little kind of a gradual C. If you turned it this way, it would be a U. And there we have our parrotfish body. Um, the next part is real important on a parrotfish because these are all of your details. So their dorsal fin, the one up at the top, um, has some bright pink and turquoise blue colors so we're going to go up just barely maybe a half an inch above and we're just going to kind of do a wiggly line all the way back across the whole top of the fish and then for the two bottom fins they're close to the fish's body also so you would do the back fin here and then this one right here you only see a small amount of it and then um, we'll do our gill plate. His gill plate kind of curves right here. It's lower and behind it. Remember I like to call these the Nemo fins but this is what helps them steer pectoral fin. So you kind of go a diagonal up and a diagonal down and then give it a little wiggle until it meets and there you have your basic parrotfish. Um, if you're going to choose to do the parrotfish this week, you need to add a lot of scales and 
stripes and things to add all of those brilliant bright colors. So what I like to do is put a few curved lines here on the tail like this and then um, you can add some scales. The coloring gets bolder near the end of the parrotfish's tail and then those spots get tinier and tinier and tinier as you work your way up to his head or her. And then you could just put some freeform shapes around here. And they have lots of times a nice little freeform stripe that goes along the side of the fish. Um, again, lots of things to color. And uh, if you want, remember I said that the parrotfish lives on the coral reefs. And that's why he has these hard teeth right here to peck the really hard coral to get off to eat. If you want to add some coral, it's another little freeform tree shapes going up. You don't want to draw on top of your fish. Come back out the other side. And just do some wavy arms. I like drawing coral because there's no way to mess it up. You could add some little circles and texture lines or even grass, sponges, anything you want. And I use some watercolor and markers on my parrotfish. Um, they have lots of green and turquoise and pink and purple and blue. Um, so I hope if you choose to do the parrotfish, you'll use some very bright colors. Thank you and see you next time.